Saturday, 26th of May. Hello. I actually have a question from Alison this morning. Good question. She's been wondering about something. So um, we can show you now. Alison's my cousin's wife. They live in Chicago and they, they watch from there. Pretty amazing, really. But, uh, hello, Mark and Alison. But uh, Alison was asking what we do with water, food, practical things when we're wild camping. And that's exactly what we're doing this morning. So we can show you now what we do. One so second. We have these steel drinking containers, stainless steel, carry them on the bikes. I've got three of them on mine. Meta's has got two plus a plastic bottle you can see and Jamie's got two there. That's our main water. Then when we wild camp what we do we buy we buy water in these plastic bottles like this. And we carry one of those each extra. And then uh, during the day we buy these and if we know if we on a day when we know we're going to wild camp then we plan ahead in the afternoon we start we stop and then we um find a place to buy food and today's cornflakes milk mm -hmm. so yeah, what else do we have this morning some yogurt i think we bought mm -hmm. yesterday didn't we? so whatever we buy we keep in the we have some front bags here we keep them jeremy usually ends up with getting some food in his bags as well and we share we share out the food wherever we've got space in the bags we put the food in. So we make sure we have enough just for the evening dinner. Next morning, today we're looking. I think we have enough for a cup of coffee. I think so we can boil some water in there, and make a cup of coffee. So that's basically it. Of course, a place like this, there's no water here. There's no toilet or shower, so it's just to bring everything with us and then take everything away as well. The rubbish we have to take in a bag, and uh, yeah. We can have a wash with wet wipes. We use a lot of wet, wet wipes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or well, we have some cloths that we put water on them, and we can have a wash with that. But uh, and then, yeah, sometimes if we stay in a hotel the next day, then we can have a real shower there, or we find a lake or something in the afternoon, have a wash. That's basically what we do. So that was it. Okay. Um, hope that was the answer. If not, send us another comment and we'll try to answer again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! Okay, just leaving a camping spot here, a wild camping spot. Too far from the road, but quiet. It wasn't disturbed here at all by anybody or anything. No dogs. Nice and quiet place. Good view over Kaiseri in the mountains. Uh, new record, we're on the road at 25 past 9, so that's quite good really. So. Let's see, get on the road now and see how far we get today. Next destination is Seabass, what we're heading for now. 221 kilometers. Now we're entering the main city of Kaiser with just over a million people live here. Okay, so we've been camping in the wild, it's time to get stocked up with food again. The guy just invited us to stay at his house. <laughs> but we just started, so we're okay. <laughs> Actually, got vegetables here. I haven't seen those for a while. So. And then uh, we eat whatever, whatever we can find in the supermarket. The supermarket they got a lot of different things, and we're very spoiled here. Sometimes I don't have a lot, then we just have to eat what there is there. Hmm. So, now we got few bags of uh, food and water so here we're... that's probably enough food for lunchtime and this evening and tomorrow morning and uh, what we do now is share it all out in anybody's bag that's got some space all the water goes in the water bottles and then the rest goes on top of the bags there so we'll get that done now and Jamie usually has the most space in his bags because he usually runs light but then we fill his bags up with food whenever we... We try to put the lighter things in his yeah. bag. Bread and things that take up a lot of space, they go in his bag and uh, take up space but they don't worry that much. So. Okay, so all the food is now crammed into the bags wherever we can find space. We take these uh, water bottles, we carry them with us empty now and then later on in the day we'll fill them up with water. There's a uh, places where in Turkey there's water play, well, water taps everywhere where you can get fresh water, even in the mountains, so 
we'll use them later as uh, water to clean us and we can boil it to make tea and coffee out of it and things like that. So. The thing is also that we find today we have been shopping here well, just before lunchtime. That's a bit earlier for us to shop normally because we don't want to carry the stuff for so long. But the problem is then what we sometimes end up in is that later in the day then there's no supermarket. So it's like to decide to buy now whether it's a supermarket and carry it for the rest of the day or should we wait and hope there comes a supermarket. Yeah, that's always a decision to make. But today there was a good supermarket. So. Yeah, it's always planning and looking ahead. Is there a town? Is there not a town? Sometimes it works out, sometimes it's and today we end up carrying it for yeah. all day, but at least yeah. we got stuff. Yeah, at least we know yeah. all of a sudden the shops disappear, we got food now. So. Yeah. Okay, and I think we've sp spotted a cafe over there, so that's an easy way to get lunch. So uh, we'll do that now, I think, then we're back on the road again. So another thing we have to do is make the most of whatever we find on the route. Every day we find something different. Today we found a nice kind of coffee shop here where they sell um, toast. toast. Boring. Boring run, so yeah. So every day is basically different regarding food. We just find what we can. And, uh, very modern uh, part of the the city here. Mm -hmm. The nice new apartment flats and apartments and uh, picnic benches and benches and grass and things. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. While we were shopping over there, a guy came to us and asked us if we wanted to stay with him tonight in his house somewhere here. Which was uh, kind of him, but a uh, little bit early for us to stop. At the moment we just started, so well done, 30 kilometers. So we just have to send a new exile file to a tourist agency in Iran and then we'll be back on the road again. So. to the end of our cycling day, quarter past four, so uh, just found a salt lake we may be able to camp on this evening, so uh, now we just fill up with water for the final time, so the bottles that we've been carrying on the back of the bikes, they're now full up, so we've got enough water to have a wash and make tea and things like that. Yeah, so. but uh, there was a very friendly man here, and he asked if we want to camp in his garden, garden and uh, have some toilet or something because he say uh, it will it, we need to camp here and yeah, by past tomorrow so yes so but now we have to take a choice to uh, move on to the lake so the lake but he say it's not the salt it's now it's lots of water so yeah we will see we will see uh, today everywhere we stop people keep running out and talking to us in Turkish we've got no idea what they're saying everywhere we stay we can't even stop for one, five minutes today without people coming over to us <laughs> so. oh, we just got ourselves off the main road just heading to Salt Lake spotted on the map see if we can camp there this evening just so with a little bit of peace and quiet from the traffic on the main road for a while so can come into this lake and then tomorrow we can come back out onto the main road. Okay, we're not sure what the lake looks like yet, but uh, the road down to it is extremely nice and quiet and scenic. Now, well, the question is, have we chosen the right decision to go lake camping or whether we should do a chosen restaurant camping from the nice man? Difficult to know what the right decision is. Come with wall camping, you never know. Sometimes you spend a lot of time on it, sometimes it works out. You never know until you get there. We'll see, we'll see. What's around the corner here? Oh, here we can see the lake, yeah. Oh, it looks nice. But now it's going downhill. Downhill the rest of the day. Wow, look at that, that's nice. Yeah, in quite a few places in Turkey they have these water, natural water faucets here where you can fill up with water. That's always good at the end of the day, so we have enough water to have a wash. We haven't tried to drink it yet. 
and I'm only a bit of it. But maybe it's okay with the French people, they have been drinking it. Mm, we boil it sometimes if we cook, we cook with it, don't we? Yes. yes. This is a salt lake. There's actually quite a few in Turkey, but this is the first one we've actually found or had a chance to come and have a look at. Actually, it's actually a lake now, but uh, in the summer, three months of the year, it uh, dries up and it's just salt. So, uh, let's go down now and see if we can find a place to put the tent up down there. Yeah, we just turned up at the salt lake, found actually a piece of grass. We have to do that. Instead, they were on the top of thorns and all kinds of spiky things that we were nearly puncturing our air mattresses. So, the views are uh, pretty good. That was the right decision to come down here. See the lake's starting to dry out. Need any salt tonight? There's plenty down there. Okay, great place. Yeah, if you're lucky today. You never know what you're gonna. Yeah. Salt lake camping, we can call it. Tents up here, another great wild camping spot. Probably one of the one of the best ones because there's actually nice grass here today. I love when we get that. Another thing with wild camping is uh, sometimes it's best to be near water, either a lake or a stream, or if there's a tap somewhere with running water, it's always the best. Yesterday there was nothing at all, so we had to bring all our water with us. But water is one of the things that we use uh, most quickly and disappears within a matter of no time if you use it for washing and eating and cooking and making coffee and things like this. So uh, if you can ever find uh, water you can use to, to have a wash and that uh, saves some of the water. So that's always the best thing to find water. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Here we can find water, but it's actually a salt lake, so I'm not sure how much use that is, but uh, but everything else is perfect. Perfect location, quiet, away from other houses and things like that, so it's a pretty good wild camping spot. Now we can have a nice evening here looking at the, the lake out there. So Andrew, are you happy with the view with your, from your kitchen? Perfect tonight? view today from the kitchen, yeah. <laughs> Pretty happy with it. It's not always we agree on where we should find camp and how long time we should look around for the perfect place, but today it worked out and we did find actually mm -hmm. perfect place. But sometimes me and Jane want to stop before and wants to bike on because it's probably a better place, it's probably a better place. But <laughs> yeah, today was like in between and it was really nice here. Yeah. <laughs> because I've got the map on my telephone in front of me, I can see what's coming. <laughs> No. Oh, you did actually want to bike on to the next place and mm. further down the lake. We'll see tomorrow if that was better. Uh, I don't think it would be much better oh, than this. Brilliant. Perfect place. <laughs> Good wild camping spot. Food that you saw us buying earlier. This is what we could create in the tent with uh, some vegetables and lentils, and uh, nice. it's quite easy because you put it all in the same pot and uh, just let it bubble away for 15 minutes, and and that's it. Really, some sausage here. This is a I think a beef sausage in Turkey. They don't have uh, pork sausages. And some uh, bread. Oh, yeah, it looks fantastic. What Andrew has created for us today. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. good shopping. And, uh, mm -hmm. I was shopping. Good shopping, good shopping. Yeah. <laughs> shopping and cooking. And that's the view. That's also approved. And there's the moon. <laughs>